finding and removing old snapshots in VMware using the Power CLI. Hey there, today on Tom's Tech Show, we're covering uh, snapshots on VMware. And one thing about, about it is that VMware doesn't really want you to keep those snapshots around. In, in production, um, the only thing that I do with snapshots is use them as a secondary backup for when I'm doing software upgrades. In production, I don't run on anything that is a snapshot, don't leave them there. Um, so I'll do a backup, take a snapshot, do my upgrade, do testing to make sure the upgrade was successful, then remove the snapshot and put the system back in production. In the lab, however, sometimes snapshots can sit around out there. They can be, you know, get kind of old and have tons of changed snapshots as you move forward. And sometimes it's been difficult to remove those when they've been out there for a long time. So I'm going to go over here some scripting that uh, just on at Power CLI that kind of shows you how to check how long they've been there and do some steps to remove them and clean and clean them up. Okay, so here I've logged in already to an ESXi host. You are going to have to have a licensed host with um, features in order to do this. The free version will not allow you to, so you're going to need at least have a license for that. You can, in the free version, do it all from the web, which kind of makes no sense to me. If you can do it from the web, why can't we you know, do it from the the command line, but that's, you know, VMware wants their money, so. Okay, so if I do get VM, type that to get snapshot, that shows me two snapshots that I have on this host, but this isn't quite descriptive enough. I need to know what VMs there are that have these snapshots. So we can do an FT, which is format table. So we're going to take this data, format it as a table, and we're going to tell it to do to give me the some different pieces of information. So we're going to do VM name. I want the size in gigabytes, and I also want created. When was this created? Because that's going to be key. If it's been out there for a long time, then I definitely want to start getting rid of it. Okay. So my toolbox that I have here, that's the computer that I'm actually remoted into here has a base setup snapshot and one called PowerShell Connect, which was when I started uh, adding all the PowerShell stuff, getting uh, uh, PowerCLI and all that for VMware setup. So that's got quite a bit of space used up. And if I look at the date, okay, here, the December 1st, 2018 and December 26th of 2018. Well, right now it is uh, March 8th and uh, I think it's time to get rid of them. So we can do that pretty simply. Uh, we take off the uh, this format thing and we just add, pipe that to remove snapshot. And I can do some other things I can do run async, which allows it to just run without having me to wait for it. And I can do a confirm false. So if I'm actually putting this into a script, right, and I'm running this, I, I may not want to run async. I may want to just let it run, um, but I definitely want to put the confirm false. Otherwise, it'll sit there and just wait for me to, to do that. So so now it's going to go out and it's going to start running this and processing this. Um, this these snapshots are on this toolbox that um, I am running on. So um, as you can see, the first task, remove snapshot, is running. And the second one has an error. So I will have to check those and see, are my snapshots still there? Uh, yes, so it's going to take a little while. So this is the problem when you've had these things out there for a long time, is that they're going to sit there and you're going to end up having them take a long time. I mean, it's going to take a while to get that 17 gigabytes back into the 
system. So I'm going to break here, and then we're going to go come back when they're gone. All right. Okay, so if you want to be able to check, this task is going to take a long time, so I'm just going to let it go. But if you want to check, if you want to be able to check, okay, the task is going to take a long time because that's all that gigabytes. You can do get task, and then it will show you a list of tasks that are running. So the second one is an error because I did async, which I should not have done because they're both on the same VM and one task is was already running when it told it to go do the second one. So just, if you're going to do it and there's more than one VM, one snapshot on the same VM, don't do async, just let it run so that it will do them in sequence. Uh, this one's 35% complete. It's been running for about 10 minutes. Um, now it's 36%. So it's going to take a while to get that 17 gig back consolidated back into the main drive. Okay. Well, that's kind of how to manage those. Um, you can uh, create uh, snapshots with scripting. Um, that's also something easy to do. I do that in uh, my lab management system that I've written where people check out a VM, it creates a snapshot, then gives them the VM to use, and then when they're done with it and they check it back in, it reverts it back to that snapshot and deletes everything that they did. So the next person that checks out gets a fresh VM with not a lot of garbage that somebody else has done. All right. So that's how you manage kind of snapshots on VMware. Um, don't let them get out there too long. Um, they can become corrupt. They can have problems. They can, like this one, be taking a long time to consolidate. Um, so, and it's just not recommended, especially in production. Don't do it in production. No, no, no. All right, because you got to watch disk space and you can run out of disk space. All right. So this is what I do. I do kind of technology-oriented videos. I do uh, videos on photography, and I do a lot of movie things. Uh, there's a lot of uh, cool movie things that are out there that that I like. I mean, the Marvel Universe. Uh, um, I don't do anything on Star Trek, even though I have Star Trek figures up here on the wall, because Star Trek's kind of a, a dead franchise for me. Um, the direction they went was not the direction I wanted, so uh, of course I've jumped over to the Orville, and I do a lot of videos about the Orville, um, things like that. So if you like all that stuff, like, subscribe, and all those fun YouTube things that you got to do, um, and you'll keep getting videos from me. All right, well, thanks for watching this one, and if you've got any questions or any comments or anything, go ahead and post those down below, and I answer just about every question right now, so um, go ahead and do that. All right, well, thanks for watching. Thank you.